Been making the new, a new record largely. Pretty much two and a half years in the studio, pretty much every day, which is alarming, isn't it? But uh, apart from doing, you know, a couple of other little things for other people, it's pretty solidly been the, this forthcoming scritty album. It's a mixture of kind of ineptitude in a funny sort of way, you know, because I'm not a real singer, and uh, it, the job fell to me by default to begin with, so it always takes me a time to do these songs that, that are never performed live, because we don't play live. So it's not till you get in the studio you realize how they're gonna work or not work. And the other thing is, is using the, the t technology. I mean, we did a lot of things with sync claviers and computers and sequences, and trying to push them to their very limits, you know, uh, in terms of trying to get the feel for things and the sound and things that, that takes a long time. I've no idea how good or bad it is because, you know, I've spent so long so close to it. I and mean, I don't think you're ever objective about your own... Well, no one's ever objective about music anyway. And you're always predisposed to hate it or like it. And uh, I managed to, to like it for most of two and a half years. I couldn't tell you now at all whether it's, whether it's any good or not. And I certainly wouldn't venture an opinion as to whether it's better than anything I'd done before. I'd, I'd hope it was, obviously, that some things had got had got, uh, and were improved. Has your career turned out how you expected God, it to? God, no, no. We, I mean, if we made of the first record nearly 10 years ago now for like 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, distributed through Rough Trade, and uh, I, I fully expected that to be it, one single, and then go off and do whatever was next. But, uh, it, you know, interest was sustained and uh, things kept happening to keep my interest up and push it that little bit further and it lasted that little bit longer and now, uh, you know, almost 10 years, which amazes me. Did you have something you would have gone back to if it all ended with the first single? No, I, I mean, I was just, I was sort of at art college then, last year of art college or something, and I really had no idea what I was going to do. You know, probably come around in academia for another year or two and then beats me, I don't know, I really don't know where I'd be. You know, um, very often they, you know, when you, the tunes come first, this is great, this could be boring, but I'll try and, you know, <laughs> the tunes come first and uh, very often um, some words will just occur to you with, you know, as you're sort of figuring out a melody and they fit and uh, very often they sort of survive and then, then they're, they're little keys that will you know, send you off in search of other things that are going to make sense of them or to fit around them. And uh, that's pretty much how it works. I mean, and if, if you have got no idea at all, then you just sort of sit back and, you know, try to think about, uh, you know, how you feel about the state of things and uh, get the thesaurus out and uh, put, put something together. But, I mean, I actually try not to write uh, clever, clever lyrics because they annoy me. And I don't like to write too autobiographically because that annoys me. Never people say. I like a certain kind of I don't know a superficial sheen, so there's no there's no edges to really catch on to to um, to other people's experiences or expectations. I mean, like, invariably they were to some extent, but I don't like that kind of confession of songwriting or that. Why? Bugs Makes me. you sound Bugs a bit me. uptight. No, 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 not really. They just, just, just. Well, perhaps I am. Yeah, perhaps I am. No, they just never, never agreed with me. What you find it self-indulgent or something? No, I just find it. Uh, it's sometimes laboured or, or obvious. I'd, I'd much rather an inanity in place of something that looks like it's been very painstakingly put together. Is that because you're naturally very secretive about your, your private life or what makes you no, tick? No, I don't think so. It's, it's just, you know, it's a matter of taste for which there's no accounting. People sort of go from that, you know, reading too many philosophy books and stuff mixed with sort of inanities. You know, if you've gone, if you've gone sort of eight bars and, it, you know, it's, there hasn't been an inanity, it's time for a baby or a or an ooh, or a, a love, or something. That's not really, well, it's a bit like that, actually. A bit like that. Oh, baby, you understand. Hi, it. Inherent merit in, in real instruments, or any of the sort of 
you know, the, the whole mythology, the mysticism almost of real players and heartfelt music, I think that's all uh, nonsense. And uh, so I'd, I'd be quite keen to stick with technology and just go somewhere else with it, you know. Other, other, you know, do other things with it, perhaps. On the subject of technology, what do you think of the current vogue for sampled dance music, you know, the S Expresses and all the rest of it? I think it's, I think it's good fun. I like it. And in a lot of cases, there, you know, there seems to be a lack of imagination and, uh, and wit or incisiveness with it. But that's true of any kind of music. That was true of disco. That's true, you know, it's true of punk. It was just a lot of garbage. But uh, essentially, I think it's very interesting and, uh, and exciting. And I would, I'd, I'd say yes. What about if somebody uh, made one of these records heavily plagiarising a lot of your material? Would you well, be inclined bits, to drag our, them to court? Well, bits of our court? stuff has been, you know, plagiarised pretty heavily. They tend just to nab snare drums and little things off us, and uh, that's okay. You know, it's, it's it doesn't bother me. You're all in favour of poaching. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, some people find your style too sweet. You've been accused of being cloying. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, well, uh, I could think my way into a position where I'd have sympathy with that. I mean, obviously, personally, I, I mean, I, that's what I choose to do, so I must have, I must have some inclination, some liking for it. And uh, I think, to some extent, the, the criticism is unfair. And, uh, it isn't all. It isn't all sugar in the future. But I like, you know, I like, I like sugary things. Some, I like confectionery. Are but you ever I'm, inclined to let your hair down and have a good yell or something? Mm, well, when I yell, it sounds a lot Green like... Green rocks uh, out. It sounds a lot like me not yelling, do you know what I mean? It just comes out the sort of the same. No, I could yell. I could, I could, I'm sure I could make records and people wouldn't even realise it was me singing. You know, you, you assume a voice in a way. Everybody assumes a voice. Everybody assumes a stance. Everybody makes a decision to be, you know, to make the kind of music they do. And anyone that says it sort of, it just springs up from the, the, the depths, I think that's garbage. Now, Scrutability is, as you've said, purely a, a studio outfit. There was talk of you doing a tour, I seem to remember, a couple of years ago. Yeah. What happened? Did you chicken out? We well, didn't chicken out, we did rehearse for it. Um, we're in New York and uh, we decided to do everything live, no machines, which is probably our first big mistake because even though we found all the sort of supplementary musicians we needed, uh, it became apparent after n something like two weeks rehearsal that there was no way in hell they were gonna, we were going to get this stuff together um, to take it out live. I think the, the gigs were booked for like a week and a half after that. So we had to cancel and it was such an unnerving experience that uh, coupled with a sort of, when the very early Scritty played live, and that was, that was scary enough for me anyway. I just sort of, you know, I thought, whoa, I won't go near that again for a while at least. Why was it so scary for I don't know, I'm just, you know, I just get very scared by having X thousands of people in front of, in front of me. And, you know, trying to duplicate a lot of the, a lot of the sequenced stuff that there was on, on the last record um, with real players. It was uh, very, very difficult.